for tuning in and welcome to our first video tutorial from Teachers Learn 2, free education for teachers. Today's video is teaching you how to record on your smart board. It's very simple to do using notebook software. I'm going to teach my kindergarten students how to draw a groundhog for Groundhog's Day. I simply search for an image in Google using images. And I'm going to type in something as simple as Groundhog's Day to find what I want. Now when you type in something like this, you know you're going to find images that you don't want. Things related to the movie, the real Groundhog for Groundhog's Day celebrations. And I simply want a cartoon image that my kids can draw. I like this little one right here. So I am simply going to slide the window over and drag that image in notebook software. I'm going to resize this image so my kids can see it larger on the smart board screen and when I do these lessons I like to fade out the picture so that they can see what the image should look like but it allows them to see the line that I'm also tracing with to do that I'm going to click on the properties tab slide that slider over to fade the image out and now I'm ready to record so while I'm in the properties tab I'm going to click on page recording I'm going to click the little circle to record and you'll notice that when it is recording you'll see a red circle pop up in the left hand side of your screen and now I'm at my smart board ready to draw. I sped this part of the video up pretty fast because I did draw this really slow. I wanted my students to be able to follow my lines at their own pace so the actual video you'll see here in a little while is a lot slower than this but this gives you an idea of what it looks like as you're doing it. You're going to click record again to stop the recording. And I always back mine up to the beginning to make sure it looks how I want it to look. So what you're seeing now is real time. This is what my kids see on the smart board in their station. And it gives them a chance to do a station on their own without me being there to do it with them. I can now put this up full screen and it becomes a self-guided center where they don't need me up in front of them drawing. I always save these lessons to my desktop so that my kids can open them when they do go to this station and they know what to do. They know to open it, they know to make it full screen, and they know to click play to begin the, the lesson. Now you're going to watch what my students actually do right here. And I want you to keep in mind that I'm a kindergarten teacher doing something like drawing, but this is one of those video tutorials that you can use across all grade levels and subjects. If you're a math teacher, you can record the work you're doing on the board one day to play back for your student who is absent. If you're an English teacher and you're taking notes on your smart board, record what you're writing down for the students who were not there or students who might need to write it at their own pace. They can go back and find it later. You can share these files with your students. You can share these with other teachers in your building. And that about sums it up. That's a really easy way to record a lesson on your smart board. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave us some comments below, like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash teachers learn two with the number two. Keep watching for more video tutorials from teachers learn Two: free education for teachers.